windy today, so we're squatting down behind these rocks to try and help with the audio here. We'll be leaving in a few minutes. When we get out to sea, we don't know if we're gonna be heading east or south. We have some really heavy northerly wind coming in, and so it's gonna determine where we go today. Um, but this is probably gonna be our roughest day of the two weeks, easily. Uh, and we could be out to sea for as much as five to six hours today. So it's gonna be very intense. Mm -hmm. But we're all suited up, we're all, we got all our gear on, we're all medicated up, all of us. <laughs> so we are ready to hit the waves, see what the day holds, and we'll try to document it as much as we can. But if it's a little quiet day, we've already warned you, it's gonna be a rough day out on the sea. And some of these other boats have even said they're not even heading out for another day or two because the wind is so intense right now. They said it's just not conducive. It's not conducive for their sailing. But we have places to be and see. We don't have that luxury of time. So we gotta keep going. Mm -hmm. So we got our Aussie friends with us. We're all like, let's just do this. We're gonna get through it together. And we're off. We were here a few days ago. We were actually in a different village or city. So we're a little bit north of that. So this is all sort of new territory for us. But the wind just kicked our butt today. Oh my God, we had gale force eight and a little bit of nine wind. So very extreme sailing today. Audrey screaming 34 to 40 knots of wind. I think everybody but the real crew was not feeling very well. We popped pills, we kind of just put ourselves into a coma for a couple hours. Tell and I could tell everybody. What? We were at eight or nine gale force winds, but level 10 is survival. It's a survival condition. So it's pretty hardcore. <laughs> so this really strong wind has totally changed our planned itinerary. We have to modify it to go with basically wherever the wind wants us to go. So that's why we ended up on the same island that we were on last week right yes but our trusty crew took us to a different location so we still get to explore some different areas of the islands so that's really good and the rumor has it that we still might be here tomorrow so we're it's as Harry said we're taking it day by day you just kind of have to go with the where flow the, we have to go where the wind takes us literally this is very cute this is very charming Look at these beautiful little steps, cobblestone steps leading up to the mountain. We're walking down the street and I just peeked through a doorway and I saw a washing machine. And you know how crazy Adi is about the washing of the clothes. The island that we were supposed to go to that has the washing machine, we can't go to it anymore. So now I'm like... Ugh. So I guess we'll just keep being dirty. So as we're walking down this more quiet path, 
we want to talk about this idea of what we keep learning about this area is that the Ionian Islands are known to be a lot more calm. It's more of that holiday feel where you're just kind of doing the almost like a sexy Greek island hopping vibe. And it's a lot more touristy, right? Yes. A lot more people. A lot of British people visit there for their holiday. And what we've been coming to learn, which unbeknownst to us, this area is more known for the adventurous sailing. I mean, the how the, how the islands are set up and how the winds come in. Secluded, quiet. Yes, and it's more Greek. It's more authentic. You're gonna get a more authentic experience here. And there's days out on the water that we may see just like one boat, but that's kind of typical. Yeah, just a couple, but I mean, as you view the whole horizon 360, you may see one or two boats. Off in the distance and that's it. So it's very quiet. We heard that in the Ionian Islands, you could throw a penny, like toss a penny and you're almost guaranteed to hit another boat because that's how populated it is. So as you're kind of exploring the idea of sailing for you, you're gonna really wanna like take in consideration those two very different factors and see what's gonna work best for you. Like, the beach does sound fun, but at the same time, I mean, we're getting an adventure of a lifetime. I mean, this is like pure adventure sailing is what you saw today from, you know, from our vlogs. So you're just gonna have to pick and choose what you are gonna want for your holiday. And we wouldn't change it. We would want it, we, if we could do it all again, we would choose this cycling. I, I think we would, I think Cyclades we would. We again. like the more authentic experience. We like the adventure part of it. It's hard, you know? We always say you're not hardcore unless you, unless you live hardcore. See why you have to talk and walk. So right now there's this church we were walking to um, up on this hill. We're gonna go to it right now. It's gonna have a nice view of the whole area right before dusk, or I guess during dusk. It's eight o'clock at night right now, so here we are. After a week on a sailboat, those spinning videos are a lot easier to handle, don't you think? <laughs> in Croatia who are on the Kromitio team, which is the weather club, the big weather club in Croatia, have been sending us updates about the winds. We're like, no, really? So they just sent us this map and here you can see this is where we are. Okay. And of course, you know, with weather, you never really want to be where it's like yellow, orange, red. And of course, this is exactly where we are. So I sent this, he sent us this map and I sent this back to him with this guy on it. So we just ordered the Saganaki back home in Chicago. Whenever you order Saganaki, they come out with the plate, they light it on fire, and then they scream opa. So I, where, where was that? Where's the big hoopla surrounding the big flaming the cheese? We just talked to our skipper. It does not look good for tomorrow. We might have to stay in the marina one more night here. Uh -huh. We might be stuck in Sifnos one more night. Which is not a horrible thing, my god. <laughs> 